Hey beautiful! If this is your first time here, I'm an intuitive tarot oracle reader. No my dear, I hope you're having an amazing day and everything is going fine with you. If today is not the best day, I'm sending you tons and tons and tons of positive energy and I hope everything will be well soon. Now guys, today I'm back with another pick a card reading and today's pick a card reading is all about channeled messages from your amazing future self. This was a suggestion of one of you guys, so thank you very much for that. And yeah, let's start. Let's get you guys one card to select from for each and every pile. So this is going to be pile one. It says preserving knowledge and information. Let's see for my dear pal two, one card. Okay. We have the teacher archetype. All right. And let's get you guys one more card. And we have the child orphan. So this is going to be pal one. This is pal two. And this is going to be pal three. So as always, my dear, please feel free to pause the video or you can also meditate on the cards if you feel like you need a little bit more time to choose. You will find all the timestamps in the description box, but of course also in the comment section. And if you would like to get further information regarding a person or reading with me, you can of course feel free to email me. Lastly, my dear, please keep in mind that this is a general reading, so not everything may resonate with you. But yeah, having said that, let's begin. Hey pal one, welcome to your reading my dear. Now let's see what messages does your future self, your amazing future self have for you. So let's start straight away from my dear pal one. What do you need to know? What does your future self want you to know? Okay, so the first card we have is the four of materials, which is the four of pentacles. Let me just make sure we have a little bit more space for the card. So we have the Knight of Emotions. For my dear pile one, what does their future self want them to know? The Six of Cups. All right. Let's continue. Four of, I'm sorry, the Five of Wands. All right, we have the Chariot card and we have the Queen of Swords here. Let me see. I want to make sure all the cards are visible. All right. Let me see for my dear pile one. What messages does your future self have for you? Okay. We have the Hierophant, interesting. And one more card. All right, and we got the Moon card. At the back of the deck, my dear, we have the Magician. Wow, a very powerful card. Now, let me make sure the cards are straight because I don't see it from there. All right, okay. All right, my dear pile one. So first of all, what I'm seeing here, okay. So your future self wants you to know that in the future, you're going to be financially at a much more better place than you are right now. They know what you're going through. They see how much you struggle. But they want you to know that this lack of security and safety is not going to always be in your life. And they want you to know that you are on the right path towards creating this life for yourself that you want to live. They know it's difficult. They know that it sometimes is not easy for you to stay motivated or get out of bed and look at life in the eyes, but 
They want you to know that you're doing great just as you are. The effort that you're putting into yourself, into your career, you're amazing. Even if it sometimes doesn't feel much to you, you're doing your best. And they're really proud of you. And your future self wants you to know that all these efforts are going to pay off for you. Even if right now you're not seeing the fruits of your labor, you will. Your future self wants you to know that in the future, you're feeling so much more free because you will not define yourself off of other people's opinion. You will understand that you can never make everyone happy and this is not why you are here. And your future self wants you to already become very aware of that. Ask yourself, the version of yourself that you are right now, how much that you do is really because you want to do it and how much of it is because of other people or even what you don't do. Maybe there are certain things you would like to do but you don't do because you're just scared of other people's opinion, what they may think and your future self wants you to know that you can only only completely be free when you distance yourself from it because as long as you live a life which is not fully yours and you allow those opinions to influence your decision making or especially if it comes from a place of fear where you may have a great opportunity in your life but you don't go for it because you don't want people to let's say like talk about you or you know like think somehow about you your future self wants you to focus on yourself period people come and go but you are responsible for your own life and they want you to be passionate about your life they want you to be happy about your life and your future self my dear power one wants you to know that there could be a few energies in your circle or in your life that are distracting you a little bit or not showing you completely their real attentions and your future self wants you to be aware of the kind of energies that you surround yourself with because they do influence you and your future self wants you to know that the people we surround ourselves with today may have an influence on our decisions right and our path and this obviously will influence the future so your future self from their heart I, i'm really feeling that it's a very heartfelt message they want you to be aware of people in your life or to only bring people in who genuinely love you or support you want the best for you Oh my goodness, this is a very intense message here. Your inner child, my dear, is coming through. And your future self wants you to know that given attention to your inner child because your inner child needs you. Your inner child needs you to connect with it. No matter how old you are, there is still this little child in you and 
this child will be very healing to you. And what I'm hearing is that in the future, your relationship towards yourself and the relationship that you're going to have towards your inner child is going to improve immensely. Your future self wants you to know that you should not waste your energy on people who are not deserving of you. And when I say deserving, I mean who don't have the best interests in who you are and may have some hidden motives. I am hearing that, especially online or on social media, you may expose yourself sometimes to people who may be a little bit envious or jealous and your future self wants you to not pay too much attention to them because they don't even matter in your life. It's important for you to understand that within the next couple of weeks, you're going to get a lot of push energetically into aligning more with who you are and and I really mean with your authentic self so for a lot of you guys if you sometimes feel like you're pretending or you're playing small when it comes to people you just don't show yourself as you are because you feel like people may judge you then what I can tell you is that when it comes to the next couple of weeks you will put this down because the magician energy in you is rising and the magician doesn't care about anyone or, you know, like any thoughts or opinions. The magician energy is fully centered in themselves and the connection between the inner world and the external world and between you as an individual, but also you as a part of the whole picture you know a part of the universe is rising and rising so what i'm seeing for you guys is that you will be getting stronger and for some of you guys you may go on a self-exploration journey in which you will get yourself or i'm sorry you will get to know yourself better and even open up to certain sides of you which you didn't even knew were there such as gifts or even psychic abilities i'm hearing also with the moon card that you may not even like <laughs> knew was there is coming through because there is an energetic rising coming i am picking up on it in your energy here and your future self wants you to be open for it and they want you to prepare for it as well because it's gonna influence you but in a very positive way because it's really gonna get you out of this five of pentacles energy feeling small feeling not good enough feeling this lack and it's gonna bring you into full version of yourself this real authentic version of yourself but for that especially because this energy that's coming through um, this period it's gonna be a very vulnerable period in your life and when i say vulnerable i mean energetically you're gonna feel very exposed or very sensitive your future self wants you to almost create this safe bubble or this protection place for yourself and this really goes hand in hand with the message that I received just minutes ago in which I already picked up on the fact that your future self wants you to be a little bit more aware of who you really give your energy into and especially when we talk about this period it's important that you have great people around you and not people who take advantage of you or take you down people who insult you and so on these are the kind of energies that your future self wants you to leave behind 
and especially distance yourself when you're going through this very major it could even be a shift to be honest it could be an energetic transitioning it could trigger this or a very big transformation in your life as well because for now i am definitely seeing the energetic point of view and there is a lot happening and i want you to be aware of it my dear as for the timing as i said um i'm getting in a few weeks could be four or five seven weeks from now you know it's gonna very slowly i feel like raise the energy levels and also within this few um, within this time period it's actually a great time for you as well to do some inner work whether it be inner child work or shadow work or just some spiritual practices that really work for you maybe certain sadhanas or maybe you know like something like yoga or it could even be just very simply fasting or eating a little bit more i'm hearing healthy for some reason take it how it resonates but this is what i'm picking up on here so your future self is definitely giving a small disclaimer but a positive disclaimer to you that the next few weeks may be very intense in your life journey or at least within the last few months but it's an energetic transformation that you're going through here. And if there is one thing that's really striking in this reading, it's that your future self wants you to be really aware of who you surround yourself with. Because the people we are in contact with, especially our closest circle, they shape us. And there is this quote in my first language it says something like the the first or the closest five people of you they like the mixture of them this is who you are so what they oh my god this is so wrongly said but what i mean eventually is that the closest people of us they influence us big time you know who we are how we think how we approach life whether it be family friends or even a partner and your future self wants you to bring in or allow positive people in so you can actually make sure you also have a very positive circle when you go through this transitioning energy all right so my dear pile one please feel free to let me know how you feel about this reading and if there is something you would like to share definitely do feel free to do so and also my dear if you would like to share with us how you're planning on preparing for this energy for this rising of energy coming your way definitely make sure to let us know like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't. And if you subscribe, don't forget to hit the bell because otherwise you will not know when I upload a new pick a card or even candle wax reading. Also, my dear, if you would like to get further information regarding a personal reading with me, you can, of course, feel free to email me. Lastly, my dear, if you would like to connect with me more on Instagram, my channel's Instagram account is in the description box down below. And of course, I invite you there as well. But yeah, my dear pal one, take care, my loves. Hey, pal two, welcome to your reading, my dear. Now let's see, what channeled messages does your future self have for you? What do you need to know? Let's start straight away for you, my dear pal two. So the first card you got is the magician card. Let's see, what do you need to know at this particular point in your life? What does your future self have for you? We have the moon card. We have the five of pentacles. Some of you guys could have been drawn to pile one as well. If this is the case, then of course, feel free to watch it. For my dear pile two. Oh my goodness. <laughs> too many cards. For my dear pile two, we got the lover's card. 
let me make sure you can see it all all right for my dear pile two what messages does your future self have for you we have the four of pentacles The star, wow, look at that. What a combination, the moon card with the star. All right, we have the 10 of wands. And for my dear pile, two, one last card, please. All right, here we go. And we have the strength card. All right, my dear, just let me make sure that the cards look straight all right okay and then let's check what you guys got at the back of the deck all right and you have the page of pentacles i'm sorry the page of wands which is the page of inspiration in this particular card deck all right so my dear pile to this for me feels a lot like a motivational speech, all right? I did not get this message for pile one. Pile one, there were a lot of advices in, but for you guys, it's like a motivational speech, honestly. <laughs> At least um, when it comes to the beginning of this and what I'm picking up on here. So first of all, your future self wants you to know that it is time for you to go after what it is that you desire. For some reason, the star card for me is really dominating the spread. And, you know, when I do like readings and I have a certain spread or I just have certain cards here and there, it's very common that certain cards are just energetically getting my attention more because there is a focus on that, that. And with you guys, the focus on your reading is the star card. And what I can see is that you guys may have a certain desire within yourself. And with the moon card being here, it's definitely something that is hidden or something you've been thinking for quite some time now, but you may have not shared it with anyone. It could have something to do with your career. It can also be just a life decision that you're looking forward to or you would like to really bring into your life, such as, let's say, moving or following a certain path. However, some of you guys are hesitant a little bit because, yeah, maybe you don't want to share this with anyone. Or maybe you feel like if you share it with, let's say, a close person, they may talk you out of it or not really understand it. But the message in here is to really go after this intuitive feeling that you have regarding a wish or a dream that you would really would like to accomplish or you would really like to make reality i feel like some of you guys could have had people in your life who always tried to talk you out of certain things or tell you no and just hold you back from what it really is that you want from those dreams that you are uh, have within yourself they may have even yeah, tried to push you down, telling you you're not good enough, you can't do it, there are only a certain type of people who can do it, or even like may have somehow manipulated you, to be honest. And this has really influenced you and burdened you because... Some of you guys don't see yourself as awesome as you really are. And your future self wants you to 
leave that and release that and of course my dear these things are so much easier said than done however it needs to be said and in your particular case your future self is yeah showing me how important it is that you understand how small you sometimes play especially when it comes to your own matters especially if it comes to certain goals or wishes that you may have some of you guys could even have a vision of your life certain ideas regarding what you would like to bring into you know your life or literally maybe even career-wise certain business ideas but whatever it may be this is your overall energy it's the page of wands so look at this you have a whole like universe within your mind full of colors full of ideas full of excitement for life but then there are these no sayers or these negative people who are trying to fight you or trying to look down on you and kind of in your way of not bringing out this highest potential that you have but your future self wants you to know that now is the time for you to become active and don't give up on those feelings that you have let me just tell you guys that you are actually heavily protected and kind of guided by okay i was about to say higher beings but that's not what i okay i heard spirit guides you are protected by your spirit guides and let me tell you one thing it looks wow it looks exactly like the strength card this is you no matter who you are this is you and these are your spirit guides look at how fiercely this lion looks like and just how much he's yeah kind of protecting the girl on on his head right and um it just feels like this and i've said this once it feels like a very strong bond between them and the lion is just ready you know to go or ready to protect and so on and this is really what i also have picked up on with you guys um with you and your spirit guides here that they are actually the ones who are also really pushing you into that direction into leaving your comfort zone and really doing what it is that you feel like doing even if it may scare you because obviously doing things that honestly people who do things that they wanted to do for a very long time it's always really scary like finally you're making this decision finally you want to go for it so yeah it it's it, it can be a little bit intimidating as well but what i'm seeing here is that your spirit guides are actually really encouraging here and i already told you this is gonna be a motivational speech for sure and it has gone that way your future self also wants you to know that you should put more quality or more focus into the connection you have with yourself and it's very interesting that this is coming through because you know very often we of course put a lot of attention or a lot of effort and time and energy into people in our life right whether it be the connection or the relationship we have with our parents with a partner with friends but honestly speaking it's not very common that people work on the relationship that they have with themselves like even the word relationship you know when i say relationship in your mind you instantly think of yourself and someone outside of you whether it be romantically 
platonic or you know whatever but you never really consider it to be with yourself that you can have a relationship with yourself and your future self is actually here coming in and telling you that the greatest relationship you can have is with you and with the four of pentacles being here what i'm seeing is they want you to understand that the amount of energy you put in yourself is an investment and that especially at this the magician and what i'm seeing for you is in the future the relationship that you have with yourself is imp improving much like more and more so some of you guys could be on a self-love journey i'm seeing here but regardless of that i am really getting the energy of you kind of finding back to yourself especially for some of you guys who have been disconnected with the four of materials being here the security that you have will increase and when i say security i don't mean financially i mean on a inner level the feeling of feeling safe and secure in life in yourself actually for some reason um yeah this is really giving me the energy of the root chakra okay so i feel like some of you guys could have yeah not really had the security in your life or a lot of anxiety maybe you are the kind of person who overthinks very fast or gets anxious because you're not really that trusting and you just feel like everything is breaking down what i'm seeing is a reason why you may sometimes be like this is because you are not deeply rooted within yourself and your future self wants you to know that this is coming into your life you are increasing this relationship and you are connecting more and more and the security within you is gonna rise in and it's gonna influence your outside world as well yeah also my dear there is another person's energy coming through romantically speaking so for those of you guys who may be single i see someone coming into your life and for those of you guys who are in a relationship i see that this person's energy and you they're really connecting and kind of mixing so there is going to be someone in your life my dear pile to you that you're gonna have a very serious connection with in the future this is something i am really picking up on here already let me see let me see yeah this is romantically speaking i am picking up on a person who's gonna be in your future self's life yeah, you're gonna be in a relationship this is what i'm seeing here very random but i am picking up on that energy also with the strength card being here what i am also feeling is your future self is really emphasizing here my dear to be more courageous or to not be scared of putting yourself out there of sharing your voice sharing your opinion it just feels like you are this but you're downsizing yourself to this yeah mm. so what i can tell you for sure is that your future yeah your future self is so much more in the strength card energy here and for some of you guys if you are not very confident then especially through this like four of pentacles energy as well and the security that i already talked about your confidence 
in the future will definitely rise because your future self's energy is super duper strong and confident like in your face confident all right so if some of you guys for some reason have trouble with it i definitely see an improvement here it just feels like overall you're gonna be so much more you and unapologetically you and this is gonna really make you more self-aware and it's gonna also have a very positive influence on your self-love yeah that's also something i'm seeing here But I would say one of the most major messages here is for sure with the star card that yeah your future self wants you to okay I heard you know this quote do something today that your future self will thank you for this is what I heard so some of you guys you may have plans regarding career or some kind of a change idea that you want to bring into your life and your future self is saying yes 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 go for it be who you are and show the world i'm hearing show the world what you have to offer hmm. let me see Yeah, coming back to this person's energy, this romantic love interest that I picked up on. I can see that your guys' relationship, once again, is a very serious one. So your future self is in a very committed relationship here. And that this person is going to have a huge influence on you, my dear. A huge influence. Maybe somehow you guys are going to work together. Or maybe somehow this is someone who, like, whose opinion you're really going to appreciate. You may even go to as an advice. And I feel like they will be very impactful in your life. But I don't see them taking advantage of it. No, because... You are in love, so it's kind of like a lover going to their partner, you know, to ask for an advice. This is how this feels like. Mutual feelings here, yeah. Mm, yeah. So, my dear pal Chu, please feel free to let me know how you feel about this reading. And if there is something you would like to share definitely feel free to do so like comment and subscribe if you haven't and if you subscribe don't forget to hit the bell because otherwise you will not know when i upload new pick a card or even candle wax reading also my dear if you would like to get further information regarding a personal reading with me you can of course feel free to email me lastly my dear if you would like to connect with me more on instagram my channel's instagram account is in the description box down below and of course i invite you there as well but yeah my dear pal too take care my loves hey pal three welcome to your reading my dear now let's see channeled messages from your future self what do they want you to know from your amazing future self so let's see i wasn't ready yet for my dear pile one I'm sorry, pile three. Why did I say pile one? Well, maybe some of you guys have been drawn to pile one as well. If this is the case, then of course, feel free to watch it. Okay. So for my dear pile three, what messages does your future self have for you? Too many. What messages do they have for you? Let's see. Okay. We have the king of cups interesting and we have the awakening card coming through for my dear pile three let's see what messages does your future self have for you we have the ace of swords the page of 
page of wands. All right. Let's continue for my dear pile three. All right, we have the five of cups. The eight of swords here. For my dear pile three. Let's see. Too many cards. For my dear pile three. Okay. All right, so we have the sun, the queen of materials, and the six of swords. Interesting. Normally, I only take eight cards, but for you guys, I really feel like taking all of them. All right, let me make sure you guys can see all the cards perfectly. Great. So, my dear Pio three. Okay, first of all, your future self wants you to know, this is the first message that I heard. They want you to know that in the future, you are doing really, really well emotionally. I am seeing that, yeah, maybe you've already started with it, but you will have done an emotional reflection or emotional healing. I see you guys releasing a lot of crap, a lot of crap that is not benefiting you once whatsoever. It may have been a lesson, an experience, but you will not allow those emotional blockages influence or sabotage your life anymore. And this could be, let's say, some false emotional programming or let's say you having some negative i'm sorry you have experienced negative things in the past emotionally it could even be that some of you guys have i'm hearing your heart turned cold or turned into ice and what i'm seeing is that you're opening your heart again you're not allowing this BS to hold you back from your greatest version because I see at one point in your life you felt like useless or you felt like life is not going anywhere you cannot do it you are just just an emotional wreck I'm hearing and what I'm seeing is that your future self is, is really showing me how far you've come. They're showing me the, honestly, the journey, the emotional journey that you have gone through or you will go through. Obviously, once again, take it how it resonates because some of you guys, you could obviously be on different like steps on this journey. All right. Some of you could be in the middle. Some of you guys at the beginning. Others may have not even started yet. But I do see that this emotional journey is going to be successful. And there is obviously some healing involved with this. And healing is not a goal. It's a journey. So for you, I feel like through going through note through this journey you're even going to know more and more about yourself and it's kind of like you're going to peel layer after layer and you're going to see that as an example a lot of emotional baggage that you were carrying with yourself has really made you believe a false story of yourself and you're going to become aware of it and you are going to release that you're going to leave this behind because this is not how you want to live anymore. Honestly, this word awakening is just so fitting because it's kind of like you awakening to who you really are. As an example, if some of you guys have been in very bad relationships in which you didn't feel treated well, you maybe even have felt some type of way about yourself because the other person, your partner, 
they may have treated you really poorly and you will come to the conclusion that these experiences they don't define who you are they just define who this person was you know the way they treated you it says more about them than who you are so if they treated you really really bad that's not because you deserve it you don't deserve that you deserve someone who treats you res with respect and with love and because this person didn't respect themselves and didn't love themselves, they really projected that on you. Because this is also how they treat themselves. So you're going to have this awakening. You're going to understand that, first of all, the relationship that you have with yourself is the most important period. That the emotional connection is something that we need to work hard towards. Because life influences us right and yeah you will go through a major journey and this is kind of like an uplifting message that your future self wants you to know that this journey is going to pay off for you all right also what i'm seeing is okay your future self wants you to know that in the future you're going to be so much more abundant and it's really the whole picture i feel like through this emotional cleansing okay it really feels like a detox or cleansing you're gonna gain so much more clarity when it comes to your life and who you are and you're gonna feel so much more abundant and this abundance this vibration it's also gonna come through in other different ways first of all financially i see you guys being independent and being at a very good place but i'm also seeing that you guys could be moving or you guys could shift something big time maybe career or once again maybe location maybe partner if you're right now like um with someone who you feel like doesn't work out but i just see you shifting something and through shifting or changing something major you're actually going to influence your life path in a different way however it's kind of like finding the way back to yourself you're going to be on the right path let me see yeah i'm hearing your future self wants you to just concentrate on yourself and to concentrate on creating the version as an example, if we talk about career, that your future self wants you to put your energy into this yeah, career that you want, right? And into becoming this queen of pentacles, becoming this successful and secure person that you want to be. Could even be in some kind of a creative field for some of you guys. I see there is success coming through you guys have this potential or a door is opening for you which can bring yeah this this energy into your life let me see okay your future self also wants you to know that when it comes to your spirituality, when it comes to your spiritual journey, you are going to go through a major experience, but this is not now. I feel like this is more so in the future. And in fact, it doesn't feel like weeks, months. It feels like weeks into your future. I'm sorry, <laughs> years, years into your future. And what I see is, yeah, mm, that your spirituality is actually going to be a very major part of your life. And I see some of you guys literally connecting with, I'm hearing your soul tribe. So I feel like you're going to put yourself in the future more so in like, 
places or circles who are also dedicated towards what you are dedicated towards and what I'm seeing it's definitely connected towards your spirituality and through that you are going to come into contact with a lot of different people who yeah a lot of them are going to become very close friends of you this is something I can already see here for sure and these people are yeah it, it just feels like a soul family if some of you guys right now feel alone or if you feel like you know you haven't really found people who just who understand you or you just didn't have this connection with then let me tell you that in the future you will have really good people around you wholesome people and people who you can really quick um, click on when it comes to mutual interests yeah this this feels more than friends you know like those friends who genuinely become like family to us this is the kind of connection that i'm seeing here all right that's what i'm talking about so not like just people you can have fun with and that's it no really deep 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 major connections here that's what i'm seeing for you guys yeah i feel like for some reason some of you guys could have felt lonely really really lonely and through the spiritual experience or through this emotional better to say yeah no it's more so it's gonna start with this emotional cleansing that you're gonna do you're gonna find back to yourself and that you're gonna see you've never really been alone but you have been disconnected from who you are and because you were disconnected from yourself you thought that when never when no one was around you were alone but you still had yourself but you weren't aware of it and this is a shift of mindset which is going to bring clarity in your life that you were re really ne never alone your spirit guides have and are always supporting you even if they are not visibly physically in the 3d with you they are there they are supporting you and when you go through this awakening or when you go through this spiritual experience in the future you're gonna feel that they're present more and more this is something i am also seeing here let me just tell you that it just feels like your future self is really really happy with with where they are and obviously your future self is you right so you are definitely very very happy here this version of you that i'm picking up on but it doesn't just come from like nowhere it's because you will have done or you will do this this cleansing and you will release and understand that you are so much more awesome than you you know ever realized and if you take one thing from this reading then i want you to, to be that you are great you are amazing those experiences don't define you your thoughts are just thoughts and when you have a negative thought about who you are it's not a fact it's coming from somewhere and i want you to understand that very often it comes from a piece of you that's hurt or didn't felt seen and heard throughout your lifetime and what you're gonna do is through emerging on this journey emerging on this emotional 
detoxing. You are peeling all those layers from yourself, which you are not, till you see who you are. And who you are is this amazing person that your future self is already, yeah, transformed into, let me put it that way. Yeah. So, my dear pal three, there is a lot to take in and, you know, definitely feel free to, to share, you know, something if there's something you would like to, to let us know. If it resonated with you, also please feel free to let me know. Also like, comment and subscribe if you haven't and if you subscribe, don't forget to hit the bell because otherwise you will not know when I upload new pick a card or even candle wax reading. And my dear, if you would like to get further information regarding a personal reading with me, you can of course feel free to email me. Lastly, my dear, if you would like to connect with me more on Instagram, my channel's Instagram account is in the description box down below. And of course, I invite you there as well. But yeah, my dear pal three, take care, my loves.